I got laughed at. I said I used a random benchmark for my marketing model. Yeah, they shouldn't have laughed, but let's clear up the confusion. So a baseline model is a simple model or rule that doesn't take very long to build. And some of the baseline models I use are majority class when I'm doing a classifier, or for a regression problem, I might just use the mean. It gives me this nice simple model. A baseline might be a simple rule from the business, like how many hot dogs they sold yesterday might be the baseline for how many they sell today. Lately, we've also been using AutoML as a baseline for tabular problems. Baselines are great for just measuring your improvement. So as you're adding new things to the model, you can see how they're contributing to the improvement of the model. Hey, remember your claims project? I spent three months building a better claims model, but never did a baseline. Three months in, we ran a baseline comparison, found we were only getting 1% improvement, which wasn't good. That's how I got this job. What about a benchmark? A benchmark dataset is used to evaluate models. We've taken all of our machine failures from 2020 and created a benchmark dataset. We know our current approaches get about 98% accuracy on that. So we use that benchmark dataset when we compare other competing algorithms, new approaches we see. If they can't beat 98% on that benchmark, we don't worry about it. So academia has a lot of benchmark datasets. It lets them compare different algorithms and approaches and one of the things that's useful is you can see how the field has progressed over time. This has really helped. I think I'm well above the baseline now.